is sort of just like a snake eating its own tail to a certain extent. It is. It is, it is what it is. So as you're coming in to apply to an employer, you have to disclose those informations. And I didn't know Claudia Gale was a ghost until they, they started a case and basically the nurse who had, who really presumed to be that person was supposed to go to e-verifying and find out that the social security and the name doesn't match, then you could not admit someone like that in the system. Now you could check it, but prior to that, there was no e-verifying. Because after September 11, they come with a system to verify your name and your social security. And those databases is only provided to the employer. So with that number, which really targeted, tailored to the system of employment immigration status, then you will be able to identify that number doesn't belong to this immigration status. And that's when you could verify that person and the social security doesn't match the name and doesn't match the license that the, that person provided to you. But if it's the person is an inside job, so a lot of those things they don't verify uh, and the, at the beginning. It's after the fact, then you could find out that's what happened. Do you know anything about when, uh, and I say this in air quotes for anybody, I, I believe uh, she doesn't exist. It was a make-believe. If the nurse at the office was the one who collected the checks and then who cashed the checks, then she could use the name Claudia Gale. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the same thing when the, 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 that person will come to testify in front of the, uh, my attorney at that time was already premeditated between the two attorneys not to ask her the proper questions. So again, it is a conspiracy between even the attorney, the way that works the law. Because of the fact that everything goes back door, it's not a question to verify her number, it's a question to say, are you, Claudia Gell, can you give me a driver license to say that we reside in the state of New York? It's not really say, well, you already provide me your date of birth, what's your social security? Because they already premeditate those questions. And this is the law on the state that you must reside. Reside means you have to have a green card, not just say, I live here, without a state driver license to show your proof of address or to have a, a bill in your name to show that you really reside in the address where you say you live. So it's a lot of <laughs> unpredicted things that happen and they were making arrangements at the lawyer's office for them to orchestrate those. And they are really planning. Because uh, Claudia Gell uh, was refused to come for testimony, which is so called Claudia Gell. First, she used uh, her name in five different states. So basically, it's like uh, she's a professional. Um, now, when it comes to identity, uh, anyone is vulnerable for identity theft. Uh, 
basically it's your name, your social security and your date of birth and, and your passport and everything that's related to you. If somebody have access to it, they could really harm you by using it to work by using it to get a driver license, by using it to get a credit card, by using it to get anything as they, the system allowed them to do. So now, once you the a victim of identity theft, you could really, once you find that out, you could report it to the police, or you could go to the administrations itself, or go to IRS, and then try to find out exactly where that person live or uh, which state that they reside on. And there are other companies that could you could really relate to look for on the internet to, to really have research to see exactly where those individuals or those criminals are living to be, that use your name and your information. Well, it's only thing you could do, but the government itself is not like helping in that prospect because of the fact that they they are part of the problem because it takes a long time for them to follow up and plus they let it happen to the immigrations the immigrants coming here without the proper paper and then once that is done it is subject to really look for a fund of social security for you to work and that's make it very open for for those individuals who come with that tendency to really, um, you know, use somebody else's number. And it is it is happen every day. What is what is your opinion on um, services like LifeLock that um, you know you pay the for the service that they offer? What is your, do you find those services helpful when it comes to prevention and notification, or do you think that there's other ways to go about it? What's your opinion on that? Well, the other ways to go about it is to protect your uh, your identity, is to make sure you don't you don't file a lot of application online, you don't uh, go for a lot of credit card, you know, you use it everywhere. and. You know, we have company overseas that really have access to your information and they use it in different country. So you will not know, basically, if they open up a company in your name and they use it in a different state. In other words, let's say criminal live in New York and they use it in Georgia and they, they use it in their own country. So you will not find out because they not basically use it against you in New York state. They use it as they live in Georgia and then they use it in the country to really get out of you harm. So it's a very complex issue. It depends on the person way of what the goals are to really uh, use your name and your information to what they want to accomplish. If they want to get on your credit card and they don't pay for it, and then after that, uh, the, the bank or the credit card company lose. So they have different goal and they use it for different purpose. So we need to have a system that could be check and balance from the cap goal to know how you could protect your own social security number or to protect your own uh, way of your credit card. And it's happened every day in our life. Everywhere we go, somebody else using somebody else's 